Congratulations. It's as you touched on there, it has been a busy month. We've yeah. seen you playing, we've seen you smiling, we've seen you frowning, we've seen you frustrated. Yeah. Whereabouts is the Ross Smith game right now? Because I think we've probably seen it all. Yeah, yeah. I've literally, to be honest with you, I've had like three days off and, um, you know, them three days seem to have like been magic, to be fair. Um, I always wonder why the the Premier League lads always go like, why are they moaning that they're, you know that they're, they're not having well they're having time off and they're doing too much and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you can sort of see you know mentally why it's it's, it's quite draining. Um, but it's been a, you know a bit of a test this last month, but I've enjoyed it and um, the last few days has been a nice break and obviously it's it's paid off just like a couple of days even you know and. Yeah, a bit of family time and that. I've loved it, but I love playing darts as well, so I wouldn't change that for the world. Busy period coming up for you as well. Obviously, you're yeah. defending Good. that European Championship money as well. Yeah. Is that something that, that plays on your mind in this nah. period? No, nah, not at all. I couldn't care less. I really couldn't care less. Um, you know, it is what it is. You, at the end of the day, right, how I look at it is I, I go and play every tournament I play in or every game I play in, I go to win it. I don't even look at the rankings. I really don't. I couldn't, couldn't care less about it. So it's just about whoever's in front of me, just try and beat them. And, and then if you can win a title at the end of it, then fantastic. Are you hoping this week can springboard you into a huge half of the year? Yeah, definitely. Um, <coughs> weirdly, I don't know what it sort of entered my head. Like, before I went up there today, I was like, do you know what? This is like the second half of the season now. This is the business end. Um, this is where you need to kick in, you know. So, yeah, hopefully, you know, it's, don't get me wrong, it's only one game. You know, I'm not going to uh, jump the gun here, but it's one game and um, I'm feeling really good. So, yeah, just get on with the next one. Congrats, Cheers, mate. Ross, that was the ninth highest average in the history of the tournament. How satisfying is it to put down the mark like that in the first round? Ninth? Yeah. It's not the best, though, is it? So, no, no, no. I'll take it, though. No, I, I don't look in things like that. Again, like ninth in, and things like that. It's, but, um, yeah, it won't even let me. I, I, I don't even know what my average was, if I'm honest with you. Um, 101. Yeah. I'll double star. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'll take that. But um, but no, just again, like it's it's been and done. It, I've got to do it the next game. There's no point in doing it in one game. You've got to do it the next one and the next one and the next one. And you know, again, I don't want to be here to make numbers up. So I've got to do it every time to to win that title. I mean, how confident are you? you can back that up now. I think it's three years in a row you've gone out in the second round here. So to be able to get past that. Oh, is it? <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, Again, I suppose I don't really look at things like that. I just, it's whoever's in front of me. Um, I think, for a change, actually, I think, I don't know, I've got Johnny Clayton next, the boy. I don't usually look into that, but obviously Johnny's a great player. Um, one of my good mates as well, so, you know. But, yeah, it's all on the day, you know. But I feel really good, and if I play like that, then he's got a game on his hands. Cheers, Ross. Cheers, mate. Ross, you talk about sort of taking the pressure off yourself a little bit. How much sort of extra can that give you in that? Yeah, massive. Well, you can see it then. It's massive, you know. Um, I suppose, obviously, we've been playing that much this past month. I'm not used to it. So it's all a bit, a bit of a learning curve for me. Um, I felt like I've dealt with it all right. Um, but, yeah, I've, I've, I've just come here and I've gone, do you know what, just there's, there's sort of just go out there and enjoy it. And, you know, because sometimes you can take it so serious, well, I do especially. So, but, no, it's, it's, it's gone well tonight. And, again, just crack on with the next one, really, you know. Talk about this being sort of the second half of the season, with mm. particularly all the major tournaments yeah. coming up. Have you set yourself any goals and any targets for the, for the back end of the season? Um, I usually don't say I have, but I, I suppose I have. You know, I'm, I'm looking at minimum quarterfinals in every major now because I'm not going to lie. I want to be in the Premier League. It's something that I've always wanted to do, and you know, since I was a little kid, you know, watching it. So I'm not going to beat you about the bush. Um, I've said it previously. So, but I know. To do that, I'm going to have to do something special. Um, you know, I won a major, and I wasn't even in it. So, um, but I know I've got it's down to consistency as well. So, quarterfinals are an absolute minimum going forward in all majors, and um, hopefully, I can pick up a title as well along the way. Cheers. Ross, you say that you don't focus on the draw and you don't focus on the rankings. Is that something that you've always been like that, or is that a conscious decision to to change to be like that? Yeah, I, I just don't. I don't really see the point in focusing too much on the rankings. I, I think again, you put pressure on yourself when you're d looking at defending money and so on and so on. At the end of the day, we all go into a tournament. Surely, we all, all players go in and go. I want to win. I, I don't go in to lose a tournament. So, 
you go in to win the whole thing. So it's irrelevant really what you've done two years ago. You you know, you just got to sort of, and it also counteracts like I think two years ago I wasn't even in the match play, but this year I made the quarter finals. So things like that, it just then that'll obviously counteract what I earned in the Europeans on the rankings. So yeah, I try. I don't really look into it, and I just go into every tournament, or well, not every tournament, but every game, and just try and beat whoever's in front of me. Where do you think your game is now compared to two years ago? Like you said, you did win a major two years ago, but breaking new ground in places like the match play and hopefully yeah. here this week. I think I'm more consistent. Um, again, I think it depends really going forward now with the majors is obviously the biggest question mark. I think on the Pro Tour and the European Tour, I've probably had the best season I've ever had. You know, um, So, yeah, I think I've been really consistent on that side. I just need to be really consistent now in, in, on the majors side being honest with you so you know and again who knows this is what it's all about now is the business end of the year we, we've got all the majors coming up so hopefully fingers crossed I can do a job. And you said that you love playing darts we get some players who openly admit that they're not, not a big fan of playing the sport yeah. is, how much does that help the fact that you genuinely enjoy getting up on that stage and, and playing this sport? Look if you can't enjoy getting up there in front of 5,000, 10,000 people whatever it is playing in front of millions of people on on in, on TV, you know, and earning the money we earn through playing darts, which is, you know, comes from the pub, you know. I, I've drove a lorry, you know, and uh, worked 12, 12 hours a day minimum for five, six days a week. And, you know, I, I'm telling you now, it's an absolute privilege to play this game and to where it's got to now, you know, I'm, I pinch myself, you know, I've, I count myself very lucky that I'm playing darts for a living. So if anyone's moaning about it, then just give up. Do you know what I mean? Because I'll happily take your place. Ross, huge well done. Thank you very much. Cheers.